Hello and welcome back to the channel. If you're new, this channel focuses on the ins and outs of living abroad in the beautiful country of Poland. Now for this week's video, as you can see, we are in a different location. We're in my kitchen because I want to show you a little home remedy. Let's get started. The cold season is approaching rapidly. I know it is not winter, but Colon has chilled off a lot already and it's only September. And so an issue that I have a lot when the weather chills out, I'm not sure it's be if it's because I work with little children or if I'm just not used to cold weather or if, not, if I'm not dressing appropriately for cold weather. I don't know what the issue is. But every time the weather cools off since I've been in Poland, I'm always get these little colds here and there. And so when I first moved to Poland, I was told by Polish people, including my friends, the students I um, teach, and pretty much everyone in Poland that I should take vitamin D, which is something that I actually take every winter, um, actually ever fall. I actually need to go ahead and get my vitamin D from the pharmacy so I can start on that regimen. In addition to that, I was also told that in the morning I should drink warm lemon water with honey. And for whatever reason, I was told that four years ago and I completely ignored it. I completely, completely ignored it. And it wasn't until I saw a video on YouTube mentioning the same thing, like literally the same thing, is that I've decided to actually try it out and see if it helps to boost my immune system. Now, the remedy that I'm mentioning on YouTube is slightly different. It incorporates, I think, two extra in ingredients. However, these ingredients are not anything radical or crazy. They, I was able to locate all these ingredients in my kitchen. And I've been taking this remedy for, I would say about seven days. I'm gonna take it for another seven days, so two weeks, or actually maybe up to three weeks, and see how I feel and see if it works. Now, it may be a placebo, but as of now, I think it's working. I think that I'm fighting the cold a little bit, but we'll go ahead and see. As before, or as I mentioned before, the ingredients are super easy or super easy. They're nothing crazy. So for specifically for the um, concoction that I found on YouTube, you're going to need one half of lemon. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that in half. All right. So half a lemon. You also are going to need some honey. And you are also going to need some... Uh, cinnamon. So you're going to need some cinnamon. And here is where it gets kind of crazy, which is an ingredient I was like, are you sure I should add this to this remedy? You're going to actually need a little olive oil. So a little olive oil. I know it sounds weird. I know you're probably thinking it's going to taste super gross, but trust me, come on, have some faith in me. It actually is quite good. It actually is quite good. So first, you're gonna get your lemon. I have this beautiful glass squeezer. I like it, my partner absolutely hates it because it's not functional. You only can use lemons in it. He wants to use oranges, but whatever. Now, lemons in Poland are super good. I love lemons. And actually, lemons in Polish are citrina. It's one of my favorite words. In fact, I think even if we were to move from Poland and move back to America, I probably would still call it citrina. It just sounds better and more appropriate. It just, I don't know, encompasses what a lemon should be called. So go ahead and squeeze that out. I already have my cup prepared, so I'll go ahead and pour that straight into the cup. Try not to get any seeds. Looks like there's no seeds though, so we're good. So put that to the side. And like I said, next you are going to need your cinnamon. Funny story. Now I went to the store to get this uh, cinnamon. And um, you know, I forgot how to say the word cinnamon in Polish. So I'm in the store looking for it. And I go up to one of the sales representatives or one of the persons that works in the store. And I'm like, um, can I have some cinnamon? And she's like, what? And I was like, cinnamon. Now baby, how do you say cinnamon in Polish? Cinnamon. 
Okay. For whatever reason, I, I, she wasn't understanding. I was having a hard time remembering how to say it. But anyways, you're going to need some cinnamon. And, you know, spices and herbs come a little bit different in Poland. They actually come in these packages. I know in the States, people are used to getting all their herbs and spices typically in glass, um, little glass jars. In Poland, they typically come in packages. So this is common. This is just something that is typical to po Poland. Now, I already have some open here, so I'm just gonna use this old pack. You're gonna need a quarter of a teaspoon of this cinnamon. So you're just gonna need a quarter of a teaspoon. So that's not that much. I think I have enough in here. Go ahead and get the rest of that out. So I think that one, get that last scoop so I get everything out of there. All right, perfect. So I have my cinnamon in there. Now, next, you, what I like to add next, and this is just how I do it. What I like to add next is I like to add the honey. Now I'm gonna add my honey into my mug and then I'll add the hot water, but I'm gonna add my honey first. All right, so I'm gonna add my honey first. Now you're supposed to have one teaspoon of honey. I'm guilty. I like to add two teaspoons of honey, but I'm just gonna add one teaspoon too for now. Usually I add two or a little bit more than two, but hey, that's just me. So I'm gonna add my honey. Then immediately after that, because I already have the um, measuring like spoon or the measuring instrument, I'm gonna add my olive oil just so I'm not using a thousand spoons, which my partner actually hates. So I'm gonna go ahead and sit that in there and add my olive oil. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking it's olive oil. Well, just a little olive oil. So you're gonna add a tablespoon of olive oil. Just like that, all right? Now I'm just gonna mix that up a little bit. So just gonna mix that up a little bit. Um, there's still a little honey on the, on the spoon. However, I'm gonna add my hot water. Now I've already heated this water and I've actually let the water cool a little bit so it doesn't, you know, take away from the medicinal purposes of the honey or properties of the honey. You're supposed to add about a cup of water. And I've done that, so I'm gonna stir that up. And it's a little hot, it seems, so I'm just gonna actually let that cool a little bit before I drink it. Trust me, it is good. It is really, really good. So I'm letting this concoction cool down just a little bit more. Let's go ahead and put this half a lemon away. I am obsessed with these containers. Um, I love Ikea. In Poland, it's called Ikea, um, but Ikea is amazing. So if you're like me and you're trying to, you know, save the help, save the planet and use less plastics, go to Ikea, get these little containers. They are perfect for half slices of lemon. Um, they fit perfectly. You just go ahead and pop the top on. So Ikea slash Ikea. But anyways, Let's go ahead and give it a little taste. Again, trust the process. So I have to say the flavor, I think I added a little too much lemon or the lemon that I have is a bit sour. So it is a bit sour. Um, you really don't taste the olive oil. You just really don't taste it. And I think the dominant taste right now is kind of the sourness from the lemon and the kind of spice that you get from the cinnamon. And the honey definitely complements it a lot. Now you can spice this up to make it your own. I'm thinking that in the future, just to kind of change it up some days, that I'm gonna add some ginger. I actually have some ground ginger. I also have some fresh ginger, but I think ground ginger would just be easy for this concoction. And I also have some cloves. Um, that, you know, every Polish household has cloves, especially in the winter when you're making like um, spiced wine. So I think I'll add a little cloves to it to give it just a little extra punch and a little extra spice. But let's try it one more time. 
Okay, that's good. It definitely, it definitely hits the spot. So who would know? Who would know that these simple ingredients, a little bit of olive oil that almost everybody has in their household in the world, especially I would say in Europe and in America for sure. Cinnamon, which is an ingredient that, you know, we all use. We use for baked goods or for other foods and a little bit of honey which is super big here in Poland. There are so many different types of honey. I can't wait till this honey is actually gone and I'll be able to get some darker honeys and honeys with different flavors and notes. So that will be really good. And some lemon. I also spiced it up one day and we had some limes uh, from the night before and I actually put a little lime and lemon juice in it and that was super good. Well, anyhow, if you like this kind of content, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and stay warm this winter, stay healthy this winter, and let me know what you think. Do you have any other remedies from your country or any other Polish remedies that kind of help with the code? Anyhow, I can't wait to see you next week.